Welcome to State 6 on buying a storage unit on every state across America. Today we're in Long Beach, Mississippi, and we just paid 300 bucks for this guy. Let's see what we got. Last time in Texas, we found some brand new posters, some nice music equipment, an Apple computer, and lots more. So in the picture, it looked like these bags were brand new. And I was like, you know, usually if you find a couple brand new things in a unit like this, it usually means there's a lot more of it. And I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're expensive or cheap. Oh, look, they're brand new with little wallets in them. Look at this. Wow. I don't know what brand these are or what these are exactly, but they're brand new. Like purses or duffel bags. I don't know what you call it. And there's another one. Same thing. Look. The zippers and everything still have the fabric on them. Check that out. The wallet, paper, and everything. So these are brand new bags. And also, I saw the boxes and I was like, usually if there's something brand new, there's a lot of brand new. So let's open up this box and see if it's actually more brand new stuff. Let's see what right here? It uh, looks like a pillow actually, doesn't it? Well, what the heck is this? Something wrapped up, isn't it? Uh, warning to avoid. Okay, that's just a warning for the plastic. Something else is brand new in there though. Okay, let's see. Let's open this up. Is that what this is? Is it more? Look. Yeah, it is. This is like a longer one. Check this out. It's like a longer bag. Huh. Brand new. Well, I guess our intuition was right on this unit because I figured there'd be a lot of new. What about, is that another one in there? That is another one in there and another one in there. So three brand new bags sitting in this box right here. Again, we don't know the brands of them yet or what they are, but they definitely look unique. Have you ever just been walking down the street and you thought to yourself, man, my ankles and my knees just seem to be in great condition. And you're like, I gotta change that. Well, you know what? We have the product for you. These hoverboards, guaranteed to break your ankles, possibly crack your head on the floor and damage your knees in the process. I've seen people crash on these on YouTube. I'm sure other people have watched compilations. It's pretty hilarious. I've never actually stepped on one because I'm not the coordinated type and I will fall off that very fast. Look at this one. Another one. Uh, two of these hoverboards right there. Side by side, a black and a blue one. Let's see what else is in the tote. Side of this. Ah, don't shoot, don't shoot. I already did. <laughs> Ooh, Xbox game. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Well, there goes that. Chicago Bulls hat. That's good. That's, I only pay 18 bucks for it, but still. Chicago Bulls sells easy. Looks like a lot of kids' toys in here. Elmo. What is this big boy? Well, his head's gone. We don't know. <laughs> uh, football. A dinosaur. Looks like all kids' stuff. Yeah, it looks like all random. There's a Jordan hat. I'll put that with the Chicago Bulls one. Who's this guy? It looks like a person, but I can't see nobody. Weird. Um, there's a car, even a little gun. A bunch of kids' toys, stuff like this. It's just gonna be a big donation pile. I see this paper in this bag, too. And these, these bags are full of new stuff, too. Then we have a lot more than I originally thought. But it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Look, this one doesn't have like the graffiti design that the others have. This one's more like just a red, but it's the same style of bag. Oh my gosh, I think they're all new bags in here. <laughs> Look at that, one, two, three, four, and five, no, there's more. I thought that was it. Five, six, okay, brand new ones. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's just pull one out at random. This one's got a tag on it, yes. All right. What's it say? La Miel. Uh, Dang it, you should have a price on it. At least it's vegan approved, you know? Vegan approved purse, like what? Okay, vegan approved purse, but it does have, that usually means, usually I just make a joke out of that because it is kind of funny, but the good thing is, stuff like that usually it's more expensive. So you know what, that gives me a good hope. So I just looked these brands up on Poshmark and eBay, brand new, they seem to be going for anywhere between 35 and $60 each. And we already have well over 10, so we could already well made the money back and we barely touched the unit. That's what I like to see. What about this one? Shocker, huh? More. Shocker. Another new one, one. Two. Oh my goodness, guys. Three, this is more of like the, let's take one of the graffiti ones out. So I wonder if it's like the same brand or it's different. Now here it is, look. Two and one. It's the same thing. Approved. Yeah, La Miel. La Miel. <laughs> I wonder if this is like the owner's personal brand, you know? I don't, because I found no? so many for sale. I looked them up on eBay and I found them for sale all over the country. So like, this, oh, okay. they must have had a huge brand of that market case. But yeah. you never know. Yeah. There's another brand new one right here. Look at this stack of brand new bags we're up to right now. This is getting a little insane. I'm just going to open up this bag and I have a random... Oh, no, no, no. This one feels more like clothes. So let's see really quick. 
So I can we open find it. a way to sell these. This is the most money we make for things you get. Yeah, this will be amazing. This will definitely, definitely be amazing. Okay, we actually found one that's actually, you know, clothes, blankets, things like that. So this one will go to the donation pile. Do not forget that every single thing we sell and every single dollar we make is gonna go directly towards St. Jude's Children's Hospital. This is a community effort. Every single like this 10 state series videos receive and every single new subscriber we gain because of them is gonna put a penny in a pot for one massive donation at the end of the entire thing. Our goal is to reach $10,000. There's also a donate button on the side that goes directly to St. Jude's. Look beside the video. We don't see any of that that goes straight to St. Jude's if you wanna help that way. So let's get back into the unit and see what else we can pull out. Let's go to this side, some. Are these just all empty boxes? Ooh, my favorite. I love empty boxes so much. And they, and they <laughs> have, um, <laughs> they have LM on it. For That's the brand. brand, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Let's go in one of these glass bags and see what's in here. It's all ripped up. Out of here, Fuzz. <laughs> Let's see if this is new stuff or what this is. Open up. Look at that. Nice. Brand new Hot Wheels set. Is this all brand new toys? Let's see. It's kind of, they're kind of damaged because of the boxes, but yeah, look. This is open because of the damage. Never used before. What the heck's going on here? Never used, all brand new. All brand new. Wow, who would have thought of all the states? We would find the coolest looking one in Mississippi. A toilet paper blaster? What? I use the toilet paper's ammo and fires balls. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's ingenuity right there. Check this out. I mean, it's just... Brand new toys after brand new toys. All the way through. Is that a drone? A sharper image streaming drone. There's no way that guy's in there. Yeah, yes he is. He's in there unused. <laughs> what the heck's going on? This is like a whole stash of brand new stuff. Look at that. All these toys in here are literally just brand new with damaged packaging. That's insane. Let's look in here. What is this? Is that a, it's a little potty? Potty thing. though, that's just a little. <laughs> that's why I grabbed it by the edges. I wasn't sure. Uh, look at this. Dehydrator Bible. What is this? Is this just paper? Yeah. Yeah, just paper. The Juicing Bible. There's a lot of athletes that probably know how to use that. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a positive way. There's a little surfboard tray. I set that over here. What is that? Is that Ooh. jewelry? No, it looks more like bathroom, doesn't it? Uh, what is that? Bath, bath. A phone. A phone. That'll tell us some info. A little coupon for Whataburger. By the way, all the Texas people are like, when we talk about in and out they're like, go to Whataburger, it's way better. We went to Whataburger, and I'm gonna be honest, they're not even on the same playing field. Like, <laughs> in and outs leagues above. Like, leagues above. It's Sorry. not gross, it's just not in and out No, it's like, yeah, no. It's better than like a McDonald's, but it's nowhere near in and out So let's see, got a bunch of random bathroom stuff in here. This one looks like it's most likely a bathroom, so unfortunately garbage. Well, let's take a random guess on what's in this giant black bag here. Hmm, let's see, let's see, is it? Oh, it is? It's brand new bags. Let's see which one this is. Is this the graffiti or the red? More of the graffiti ones. How do they get so many of these? So like I said, these are like, aren't really cheap. They're not like five, $10 bags. They're like 35 to $60, depending on the pattern. And there's just one, two, three. I mean, how many new bags do you think we're up to? We're definitely gonna have to count. Yeah, it. we have to do a final count at the end. There's four more in that black bag right there. All brand new. Next tote we have here, we have a few books right off the bat. Is this a Bible? Yes, it is. Let's check it. My turn to check a Bible. Nothing that I see. One day. One day. And we have a salt lamp in there, which is cool. Some salt. Other than that, with a bunch of trashy stuff down there, to be honest with you. This tote, that's a bunch of randomness, isn't it? Looks like it. So I see a doll with no clothes. That's I see yeah. <laughs> some shoes. This thing is sealed, so I don't really know what that does. Or that's holy to. air. Um, some hangers, some mail. These are like weights. And anything else down here? Like what the heck is this? A shoe. That is a stripper shoe. That is a shoe. Okay. The rest of it <laughs> is shoes, I think. Check out this sign right here. It looks like for a kid's room. Has all the superheroes here. It all looks hand painted too. So, I mean, that's pretty cool to hang up in a kid's room. So these two baskets right here, I don't really want to go through them because it's kind of boring, but it's a couple kitchen things, some glasses, some clothes under it. And the bottom one is all clothes as well. This next box, hopefully, Ooh. is more bags. Let's see. That's what it looks like up here. Oh. It oh, definitely yeah. is. Oh, this looks like a different kind. Look. Ooh. So they have like cheetah print or See if it's leopard the same print. Brand. Yeah, let's take this out. 
Because the box had XD on it. That's one of the reasons I bought the unit. Right here. Oh, um, there it is. Yep. La, La Miel. Miel. Yep, no price still. Same tags. Man, that's so crazy. One. This one is like that. I think it's like alligator print or something. Yeah. Two. Another one. Three. Four. Four. So four more bags to add to this ginormous pile. So this bag right here doesn't look like clothes or like purses. So let's see what's in here. Treasure. Uh, have to rip it. The, uh, oh, some shoe shoes. Boxes? Uh, okay, Madden girl. All right. Are they new? No way. They definitely look new. Oh, oh yeah. Look at the bottoms. They're definitely new. What the heck Do is going on with this unit? I don't see any tags or any prices on here. Oh, there's one. 60 $60. Bucks. Nice. Nice. So Madden girl shoes in another box right here. Uh, hey. This is same thing. 60 bucks. Another pair of heels. Check the bottom. Yeah, those are Been weird. worn a couple times, but still in good condition. Definitely. Set those here. And let's see what else is in here. Hey, is this an Apple keyboard? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely looks like an Apple keyboard. Yep. Yeah, there look you at go. That. Maybe we can sell that with our uh, desktop. It's still on eBay. The <laughs> Apple one from like two units ago. <laughs> but our eBay link is in the pinned comment. So if you guys see anything on there and you want to help us out, go for it. It's all going to St. Jude's. All going to St. Jude's. So here is a Cards Against Humanity. Like Love that pretty, game. Yep, brand new. Definitely <laughs> an adult game. Uh, everything else that I see in here looks like clothes. Let me feel around. Yeah, all close. So I pulled these out, set these up on the table. It looks like a crock pot, pressure cookers, and maybe rice cookers. I don't even know what they are, but they all look in good shape. All in good shape. So laid out more kitchen stuff here. We have a 10 piece fold away buffet set. And that's mm. definitely in there. Sweet. With two like fire things at the bottom. This is just something looks like you put like flour or sugar in. Quesadilla maker, check that out, pretty clean. And then this commercial chafing dish. So I don't know what chafing is as far as like kitchen and cooking goes, but check it's that like, out. Definitely dude. brand new. Here's the other pieces at the bottom, but I mean spotless. This black bag here, I think it's all closed. I'm looking, you see in the rip? Yeah. Oh wow, it ripped again. And I'm just seeing a lot of jeans closed. So yeah, this is most likely all the way down just close so this is gonna go to our donation pile that bag right there though i see boxes yeah. and corners and things like that that's <laughs> what i'm interested in oh well it's heavy too shoe boxes oh that would be super cool let's see what's in here will this bag open politely nope we're gonna have to beat it we're gonna have to rip it oh <laughs> uh, no it's toys or games look pie face and chow grab crown this one Oh, look at this little remote control car, brand new. This right here, what is that? Toilet trouble? Sometimes we all have that, you know? <laughs> this right here, remote control dinosaur. That would be fun to chase the cat with. Yeah, a good, uh, again, all brand new toy though. I know, look at this. Little Elsa microphone thing. Crazy, like somebody had to have a little retail store somewhere. This one's brand new, what are these? Jumbo sumo match. When we were young, we had sock and boppers. Who remembers sock and boppers? <laughs> More fun than a pillow fight. You just beat the crap out of each other. Clue, brand new in the plastic, actually. That one's not even open at all. What else is in here? This, I don't know what that goes to. This one right here, there's a lot more games too. This is crazy. Oh look, it's a Lego kit. A Lego creator. This one's brand new in box and seal too. This is awesome. Also, what is that? Ooh, secret science formula. That seems like really cool for some kids. What else is in here? Come on, come on. Is this one brand new too? Look at this. I think this is like a knockoff thing of Legos, my blocks. It looks like Lego characters. So still those. This is getting crazy. I don't really know what to say about this unit at this point. There we go. Giant <laughs> yeah. boxing gloves. <laughs> and then we got a little glowing art. All like new. Well, that was bound to happen. Then we got, what is that? Dungeons and Dragons. All right, little block kit. Then, man, it just keeps coming. I keep feeling like I'm at the end, but then I'm not. I don't know what that goes to. Now I'm at the end. And I got a little markers kit. Check that out. All basically brand new. Let's see what's in the next box here. I see, whoa. That's heavy. This one's really heavy. What the heck is this? All right, so I was about to say, I see boxes again in this bag. So maybe more brand new stuff. Whoa, it looks interesting in there. Let's see. No, to be honest, I couldn't see. It was all pitch black. Oh, stop. It is. Well, we got some bags here. What is this guy right here? <laughs> Get out. Get out. That is a heated flip roller thing. Okay. For what? Hair or something? Yeah. Okay. That. What else is in here? 
this guy, oh, this is where like a lot of the weight's coming from. Ugh. In that one? Another one? Is it the same? Is that what's in there though? Yeah, why is it so heavy? Huh. Weird, but okay, okay. Maybe the base of it's heavy. Maybe, let's set these on the floor so I don't knock them down. And then in here, there's our weight. A bunch of books. And we got wow. six, oh, I thought I said Goku, it was Goku. Okay. <laughs> uh, a bunch of books down here. A dune, dune buggy. But yeah, look down here. It's just books and books and books and books and books. All just, we're gonna go ahead and donate. Before I get into the trash bag, let's see what's in the duffel bag. I'm curious, or the little string bag. Ugh. What is that? Cool. Flashlight. Another flashlight. What else is in here? Some DVDs, are they actually in there though? Yeah, Lego Batman and, oh, that's a Wii U, Just Dance. Okay, okay. We got some games at least. What else is in here? Crocs, I'm gonna dump this bag out on here, all right? Let's see. Well, we got flashlights, Santa hat. What are those discs? There's uh, a bunch more down here. What? Movies. All DVDs and Madden 13. That's not gonna have no value. One of the goats, Red Ever Redemption. Then, what are those down here? Finding Dory and come here, yeah. The boy next door. So, okay, so very random in there. Let's go to the next flight back. Oh my gosh, it's heavy again. What is in this one? I see rounds. So I was thinking like basketballs or something, but I have no idea. What the heck? You know what this is? Huh. This is an entire football uniform, like padding and everything. Like I see the helmet, the shoulder pad. Gosh. Okay. A couple. couple. Some football helmet. Oh, it brings back memories. The, I played in high school, just the little mouth guard hanging on your face mask and just that gross taste of it. Uh, and all you could do is wash it out with like a hose. All we got was like a hose water that sprayed out. Ugh, oh, memories. Spider-Man, Ninja Turtles, the Magic 8-Ball. Is this unit gonna be the best one of the trip? Let's see. It says, maybe. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, I knew that already. <laughs> uh, little skateboard, a couple more action figures. Uh, was that a head or a mask? Oh, I think it's a head. So this one just looks like a bunch of random kid stuff mixed with football helmets and football pads. Next flash bag here. Let's see what's in here. Mm. It looks like purses. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Let's pull a couple out and see if they're the same like design. There's a oh. green one, like a green alligator one. Sweet. Let's see if I see like a quick tag, definitely the same one. I think at this point we can safely assume that it's all the same brand. Definitely. There's another one. There's two. Take this one out also, the purple one. Man, Three. it's crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Four, throw that over there. Five and six. six six more brand new bags what do you think the total's at when we're done with this unit how many new bags how many how many new bags i'd say like 30. so i just looked in these three bags all closed so all donation this one closed donation the only other thing we didn't show is there's like a stroller back here again because of its size i think best thing to do is just donate it to somebody in need then we began the nearly impossible task of trying to fit all these purses in the little bit of space that we had and they just barely fit we just got them all loaded it's 29 i want to say how close and accurate you were that was pretty yeah impressive. one off there's gotta be one more in there i feel like 29 averaging between 35 and 60 bucks say 45 bucks a piece times 29 i think that's a good unit and that's just the purses different turn of events here so we left we came back we had all the stuff in the hallway still and there was a truck waiting there so we went in asked him if he had any young kids or anything and turns out he does have young kids which is great for the toys but he's also a reseller so if he's interested in any of the toys the clothes literally anything in this unit we're trying to work out a deal with him. Uh, once he's done with his unit, he's gonna go through our stuff and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can make some quick money, give it straight to St. Jude's, and then we can head on to the next date. So after talking to this guy, we worked out a deal with him. So initially we were gonna pay junk removal like 50 to $75 to take the trash out of this unit. But after this guy looked at our trash, he said, well, I'm a reseller. So he was willing to take that stuff for him to make some money, which is great. He gave us 50 bucks instead of us having to pay junk removal for the trash, which is awesome. He got to take the toys for his kids, which is again, awesome. He also said that he would donate whatever they didn't want. I think from now on, every state we go through, we're gonna get the most expensive lottery ticket they have in Mississippi, it's only 20 bucks. And whenever we win on them, we're gonna add to our donation to St. Jude. So let's see if we can get lucky. I will win in one state eventually, but it's not Mississippi either. So we started driving to our next state and found this crazy cool restaurant called The Shack, apparently world famous barbecue, and their stuff was just absolutely delicious. Check the scenery out. 
All right, so we're gonna be kind of breaking our own rules here on this challenge. We said we're gonna sell everything the same day in the same state, but you know what? Those purses are way too nice to let go to Selco Simon shop for $4 a piece. We're actually gonna be at this flea market tomorrow. You're watching this Friday, Saturday in North Carolina. I'll put the address right here on the screen. We're going to be there. We're going to be selling the purses at the flea market. If you're in North Carolina, come on out and see us. We'll have stuff and all proceeds from that flea market will be going to St. Jude's. Again, guys, if you're in North Carolina, come to this address and see us there. And even if you're not, just road trip it. Come on, come find us. So this time, all we sold so far was the stuff in the unit to the other guy for 50 bucks. So we're gonna donate 50 bucks, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot more than that once we get those purses sold. And guys, do not forget, this is a community effort. So for every like these videos receive and every new subscriber we get, we're gonna put a penny in a pot for that massive donation at the end of all 10 states. We're trying to reach that $10,000 goal, and I know we can do it. Just last month, we gained over 70,000 subscribers. You know how much money that would be? Over 700 bucks just for that and also don't forget either under the video or beside it there is a donate button where you can donate directly to st jude's if you want to help us that way thank you so much and see hopefully see some of you tomorrow at the flea market and we'll see you in the next state video too second infantry division in elgin elg look what i got